Vincent Company, Burnley boss, has a verbal agreement to join Bayern Munich, but a deal's not done yet, according to Sky in Germany. As you've heard that, yes, Vincent Company, the boss of Burnley, who got Burnley relegated this past season, is now in contention to be the Bayern Munich manager. That's not a typo. That's not me. That's not me misspeaking. You heard exactly what I said. Vincent Company is in line to become Bayern Munich manager. If you were to believe the reports online, which are probably going to be true because they're coming from a lot of verified sources, Di Marzio, a few other big um, accounts in Germany who, are, who have very good ties and information to the infrastructure of Bayern Munich are saying they're considering giving Vincent Company the job. Why am I highlighting this? Because I've always thought there's a, a bet there's like a contingent there's like a contingency of like football fans online especially man united fans who are obsessed with just winning obsessed with winning and i don't understand this whole winning by any means thing because of where we are as a club where we are now as a club is that we need to rebuild ourselves to get to the point where we're in contention of actually competing to win big trophies again Start from the FA Cup, start from the League Cup consistently, start from Champ Europa League, Champions League, then Premier League. But we need to get back to that level where we were in the past, in the in the nineties, early two thousands. But since Alex Ferguson left, and since um, the City Group took over, we've been completely fucked and kind of been left to the lurches. And of course, since the Glazers have took control, they've kind of like run the club into the mud. But I've always thought that this idea of us playing terrible football but still winning was not sustainable because United was always built on fast attacking entertaining football anyway we just happened to also win cool no problem but I think nowadays nowadays I think what's happened is that because there's so many because there's such imbalance in leagues like the big clubs have all the resources have all the money have all the star power so effectively they can sign all the best players if they want to and kind of make most leagues a one horse race two horse race wherever it may be the teams that are underneath it have only a few other things to compete with, compete for, league cups and stuff. And nowadays, for big clubs anyway, even the big elite clubs in the top leagues, league cups now are not just Mickey Mouse cups anymore. They're usually the first cup that you get. And if you're a new manager, it's your first, it's your first um, opportunity at trophy to, to win a trophy that season. So a lot of big clubs now are taking league cup seriously. In the past, the league cup you should be the one where City will put out their youth team. Now they'll put out their second team of senior players, senior international. So the League Cup isn't as easy as it is anymore. So there's not a lot of cups for the other teams to compete for. So if that's the case, the only other thing you've got to compete for is a high league finish and to also play entertaining football, to put on a show for your fans, to provide entertainment. And I feel like United, Manchester United, my beloved Red Devils, we're in a position where I think, my personal opinion has always been, we need to get a manager or get a football structure in place that allows us to start playing good football again. Forget the results shit. I don't care if we win the Europa League. I don't care if we win the fucking FA Cup against City this weekend and shit. That doesn't matter to me, my personal opinion. I personally think it's more important for us to build a stable foundation of good attacking football and then put the players in place that can play that type of football, put the coaches in place that can kind of coach that type of football and slowly evolve down the chain. Because what will happen then, if, for instance, whoever the coaches that comes after Ericsson Hug is shit, when we fire that coach, we won't need to then get 13 new players. That new coach that we get, we'll have to play a similar brand of football that we want, but obviously get results and obviously do good performances. And then you can kind of continue on. Whereas at the moment, the model that we have is almost a model of like, you buy players all with different sort of like styles of play, all with different profiles. Then you sign managers with different philosophies. Then if they fail, you sack them and replace them with another manager. And then they want their own players and just, and then you left it. And you just end up with a surplus of players who are hard to get off the books because you paid them a lot of money, blah, 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 blah. But in actuality, this appointment, this perspective appointment of Vincent Company at Bayern Munich for me represents the shift now that we're seeing in football overall. And the shift is now, it's been cemented. Bayern Munich have confirmed it. Bayern Munich have confirmed it. They've told us now, under no uncertain terms, that style of play is actually more important than league position. Because style of play informs you of where the coach or the manager wants to be, what type of football they want to play, what type of philosophy they want to kind of push out there. Like, that's very fucking important. And obviously, Bayern Munich are proving that to be the case. I love this tweet, courtesy of Bayern and Germany account, that says, Vincent Company said yes to Bayern after five minutes of their first call on Monday. And a lot of people are running with a meme that this is equivalent to you, like, talking to your first baddie 
or the first baddie being into you and you trying to remain cool to have some level of composure because imagine how difficult it must be not to just say yes to any terms and be so excited because you're literally the manager of Burnley they got relegated and somehow you're on the radar or by Munich you're like you're scratching your head like what the fuck is going on this is a fever dream so it's pretty hard not to be excited and not to just say I don't care what the contract is I don't care what you want to pay me I'm coming and when I mean coming I mean both ways as in I'm physically coming, and I mean as I'm ejaculating. In case you guys aren't sure what I'm trying to say. That's what he basically should have said. I am coming in all ways possible. I'm coming from every orifice, from every fucking gap, from every hole, from every flipping joint. I'm flipping coming. That's what you should be saying, but you can't. You have to remain cool. Let your fucking um, representative do the work for you. Get you a good terms, get you a good deal, blah, blah, blah. There is a little caveat though in this, in that allegedly, the reason why Vince Company is being... Um, scouted or has been headhunters because Bayern Munich are basically soft. Bayern Munich, in a roundabout way, only really want a manager for a year. The reason being because the 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 assumption is that they really want Xabi Alonso, but Xabi Alonso is committed to staying at Bayer Leverkusen for one more season, right? Um, he'll probably think he has unfinished business there, especially when they lost the final to Atlanta just the other day at Europa League three 0 He probably want to do a better job in the Champions League going forward, and maybe Europa League if they do get um kicked out, uh, knocked out of Champions League. But there's a suggestion that Bayern Munich only want a manager to come in for a year. And then wait to appoint the actual manager that they want later on. When you, you know, Bayern Munich are, are, they're a big club. They like to hire and fire quickly anyway. And the other suggestion is that maybe they're also waiting another year, even for Julian Nagelsmann, who they then, end up, who they fired before way too hastily anyway. He's now a German manager, um, but he's obviously leading Germany um, to the Euros. So most likely, if he does want to come back to club management, it will be after the Euros. So that's the, that's the only caveat. So it maybe isn't like, oh, Vincent Company is their first choice, but Vincent Company might be the only manager because of his profile because of lack of experience who'd be ready and who'd be ready and willing to take a job for a year but the good thing is about football results matter bro if he goes to buy munich for that one year and they play the kind of football that he was playing at burnley but they have better players they he might do some bits and if they play good football if they put on a bit of a show if they're competing if there's free scoring all this malarkey they probably won't even try and hire nagelsman and those guys down the line so he actually has the years to impress. This is actually a pretty good gig, I think, in a way. It's obviously a little bit, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't show that they have total faith in you, but you can make them have faith in you by showing out. And that's the best thing about sports. Unlike any other kind of field, sports is very black and white. The numbers don't fucking lie. So if you go to Bayern Munich and you're fucking getting amazing results, you're on an unbeaten fucking run, you're scoring goals, you're playing great football, highlight reels, like all this malarkey, you're fucking promoting youngsters, you've got this 17-year-old coming on who's bossing the pitch and shit, you're going to get the job. So I'm really happy for Vincent Company. Honestly, this is amazing. And this also shows for me what it is to be a club with foresight. When you've got a club with good infrastructure that knows what they're doing, it's about sporting success, not about fucking, you know, um, what do you call it? Commercial success. You're not trying to go for the easy options, which is an Ancelotti, which is a Mourinho and shit. No, 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 no. You're forward thinking. You're like, hold on, let's give this coach a chance who he's seen play good football, but not with the best resources. Let's put him in the best, re let's put him in the best structure with good people around him, with the best players available, with unlimited resources or with the most resources in Germany to buy the players we want and see what he does. That shows vision. That shows foresight and something that Man United are obviously fucking lacking. But the funny thing is, I was checking online how impressive this perspective appointment is. The league table, the, fin the, 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 the final league table for this season, obviously Burnley got relegated, right? They were one of the three teams that got relegated. They finished 19th. If you check here, right, on the league table, the goals against, so that's the goals that Burnley had conceded in the league this season, was 78. They conceded 78 goals right this season so a hell of a lot of goals they conceded if you go to Bayern Munich <laughs> right they finished third in the Bundesliga right <laughs> and they scored more goals than than fucking Burnley conceded they, they scored 94 Burnley conceded 78 so this just goes to show you that style of play is fucking important because this guy has no right to be in any conversation of any top job ever 
right? Really and truly. But because of style of play, because of the way he gets his team to play, because of the just the attacking nature of it, entertaining nature of it, where they keep the ball, recycle the ball, the use of the wingers, the unorthodox strikers at the front, like really fucking, if you watch them actually play, Burnley play some good stuff. They just weren't good enough to survive in the league because they don't have good players. And obviously the defense is a bit leaky, but he goes for the fucking jugular. He's not someone that's going to park the bus and shit. His team's fucking attack. They come to play, they come to entertain. So obviously if you're Bayern Munich, you're like, you know what? This season's a one-off. Leverkusen, you're thinking Leverkusen won't do that again next season anyway. They're not going to go on an unbeaten run. Um, they're not going to finish on fucking 90 points and you on 72. It's never going to happen again. So you're like, you know what? It's never going to happen. So we're going to probably win it anyway. So let's win it in style. So big, big um, congrats to fucking Vincent Company. Hope it works out for him and hope he does get confirmed for the job very, 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 very soon.